Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Duracell One Hour Nickel Metal Hydride and, and Nickel Cadmium, as well as Nickel Zinc. I've been learning about the Nickel Zinc batteries, these are a little bit newer. Uh, but this is Duracell's uh, One Hour Charger. I believe this thing has been made for at least 10 years, possibly 15 years. It's been a real long time. They actually changed the design to be a more of a black body. And it seems recently, like in the last year, uh, Duracell may be changing to a different one or may be getting out of the rechargeable, you know, at least prepackaged rechargeable battery business. It's because I don't see them in stores like I used to. It, it's now pretty uh, a lot of Eneloop stuff and other generic brands. But this was a famous uh, Duracell charger because uh, it was sold a lot of big box stores, including Walmart. So it was actually surprisingly expensive. It came with four kind of standard uh, nickel metal hydride batteries, not the Eneloop, so the you know low self discharge or pre charged version. So most times it would advertise with you know a thousand charge cycles, or pre charged ones can take fifteen hundred, even two thousand charge cycles. Anyway, this is a very common charger. Uh, over the years, I've probably seen twenty of these things at the thrift stores, and only ever picked up one of them because I kind of like a variety of different things. But did keep one of these. Uh, surprisingly enough, I've seen a lot of them. And actually, all the ones I ever saw looked perfect. Uh, only once did I ever see one that actually had any evidence of battery damage from overheating. Which is something you do have to be careful of. Really, it's more of a concern with these fast one hour or 30 minute chargers. Just because they're just dumping so much power so quickly into the batteries. And they have only a limited, you know, this battery only has a limited amount of of surface area to really dissipate the buildup of heat, which actually occurs around 80% charge. Nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium are real efficient, right up to 80 or so percent charge. And then all when it's packing in this that last few percentage points is really where a lot of the heat builds up. And of course, you know, the risk of fire. But you should know that if you ever feel like nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries and they're charging and they all feel nice and warm, know that they're at least 80%. You can just pop them out and use them. What I did like about this charger is it does have a uh, mode switch. And all that does is just half the power output. So this would be 100% output. And then this would be 50% output. In nickel metal hydride mode, yeah, this would charge a nickel cadmium battery in like 30 minutes. But these, generally speaking, you just run them in the NICAD mode and then, you know, you have a lot less worries. This will work with both AA and AAA, but the odd thing is, is they have these little flip-down things to make it compatible with AAAs, but they're run as pairs. So you can't charge, say, three AA's and then one AAA. You are stuck with converting, you know, half the charger to be AAA only while the other half is AA, and that was always a little annoying, but it's fine. It is a four-channel or independent channel chargers. There's actually four dual-color LEDs, so red and green, as well as a power LED, uh, light. These do run. This one does run off of 12 volts, so it can be used in automotive fashion. Uh, here's our output. It takes quite a bit of power. 1.7 amps in at 12 volts is actually quite a bit almost 18 watts, or excuse me, should be over 18 watts, almost 20 watts. And you can see uh, out of four AA batteries, it will output two amps per battery or one amp per battery in NICAD mode. CEF80NC is the part number. And we'll just plug this in. Let me get, uh, they always came with these kind of oddball power bricks. And one thing I never discovered is I run into, I think they had either a 30 minute version or something, but Duracell had these larger so this is the original 1.7 amp brick. This is a larger 2.5 amp brick, and I'm not sure what charger it came with, but it's compatible with this thing, and it um, seems to work a lot better. This little charger brick that it comes with always seems to get pretty hot. Another thing I will mention right here is they use some, uh, you know, split tip. They're the kind of security screws that are just two prongs, and those do come with most, you know, security uh, quarter-inch bit sets, but it's a little odd that Duracell did put that on there. There's a little power light, and of course it's independent cells, so we can just put in a single battery at a time in any position, and they'll just turn red, just like any other charger. Um, since these are so common, you're very likely to run into one of these at a garage sale or something like that. And looking back on the post, at one point these things were $20 or $30 uh, with the four batteries that they came with on the shelf. And I was actually kind of surprised, that's actually quite a 
quite a bit of money for a charger. It is a nice charger. But still, you know, $25 average price is quite a bit. So, um, and from what I can tell, they have been pretty reliable. And if you get one, just run it in the NICAD mode, except that it's going to take a little bit longer, maybe two hours to charge, unless you really want the batteries to charge quickly. And you'll be overall satisfied. So I just wanted to make a quick video about this uh, Duracell uh, charger, because this thing was just a staple for a long time. This was just, you know, on just about every store shelf was one of these recognizable Duracell chargers, and it was one of the better ones that they sold. The What I find strange is a lot of battery companies, even Eneloop, and including Energizer and Duracell, it's only the more expensive packages that they actually come with nice chargers. Many of them come with the really notoriously cheap chargers where you have to have two batteries in a pair. Those are really bad. I mean, all the chargers I'm reviewing and uh, talking about are all independent channel chargers, and you pretty much have to get those. It makes it a big difference in dealing with rechargeable batteries. So these things are all over eBay, although some people are trying to get $15, $20. I think that's a bit much money, but if you find one on eBay, you can get it for 5 bucks, maybe 10 bucks if it comes with some batteries. I would definitely go for it. They sold a lot of these, so they're just everywhere. And they're actually a pretty decent little charger. Anyway, I'm going to add in this review here of the Duracell. Very common one hour nickel metal hydride NICAD charger. I really appreciate everybody watching and who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.